Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap again, and I'm here with the new Little One page kit from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. With this layout right here, it's about my little one uh, relaxing in front of the TV with her stuffies and the dogs. So the first thing I do is I cut a mat from this plaid paper that came in the kit and I gut the interior so that I can use that little piece on a different layout and um, I'm just going to as you can see here I'm, I'm probably gonna uh, do it off kilter a bit uh, towards the upper top part of my page and then um, since I know that I'm going to do that, I see this beautiful stencil in here uh, that I'm going to go ahead and work with on the background. The first thing that I do though is I'm going to use some Distress Ink and put it all on the edges of my 12 by 12 white piece of paper here. Magically it's done. <laughs> Um, so now that that's done, I grab some little pastes that I'm going to be working with, two different kinds of Nuvo, and one is the Stickles Gel. It is a sparkly, um, clear glitter gel, and I'm going to start with that one first. I'm just going to be doing some random areas with these clouds and stars and little dots. Uh, you can see here how I'm ending up. I decide to add more, which I'm glad that I did. I really like this, how it came out. Um, after I add that one, then I come back and I'm going to add the blue Nouveau. And again, same stencil, just using it in different areas, sometimes on top of the glitter, sometimes next to it, sometimes in a different area altogether. Um, also, while I was gone, I did put some um, where I wanted the plaid mat to go, and then I put some little pink dots on, in the corner of where I thought that I will put it, so I know not to put anything inside that area because it won't be seen. So again, I'm just adding clouds and stars and little dots from this stencil with the blue nouveau uh, embellishment paste i believe it's called and then lastly after i let that dry i'm coming back in with a gold nouveau expanding mousse i believe that's what this is or maybe it's just an embellishment mousse i'm not sure um, but i do add these and there again this is like a golden color and um yeah I know that's what i'm gonna do here So now I grab my plaid mat and I'm going to put it where my little pink dots are. I am going to pop this up with one layer of foam squares and then I'm going to put my picture um, diagonal to it or you know just kind of wonky and I'm going to do, pop that one up one layer up from the mat and two layers up from the page itself. So I put some um, dots on the mat and then I put some in the, on the page itself, but I put those too high, as you can see right here. So I'm grabbing this um, P13 cut apart page that comes with the kit and I am going to just cut out a couple little um, embellishments to put around my photo. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and build out uh, horizontally from the photo. And so I'm going to go ahead and pre cut those. Now I start to build those little clusters right next to the picture. And I do like how that looks, so um, I'm going to leave those there for now. But before that time, I am going to grab my big shot and these papers that I just cut, the yellow and then this little um, scrap of the plaid paper and I have the dye that came with the kit. It's like a little bow tie. And so I'm gonna go ahead and die cut those um, out of the plaid and then again out of the yellow. I did make all of my little bows. I decided not to use the one with the bow um, hanging down. So just the bow that's uh, pretty much just across. And I put those um, in around my, cl my clouds and stars. And I also tied some blue twine from my packaging. And I put those amongst my um, clouds and stars as well. And then with that die cut, um, it cuts out a little heart for each bow. And instead of using them on the bows, I decided to just use them as a cluster down in the lower right corner where I also have some phrase stickers. Um, you can see here I'm using the alpha from the kit. It is an orange Simple Stories foam stickers and I'm going to spell out relax. And then I'm also using these little asterisks that came in these foam stickers as well, just to add a little bit of um, something here and there on my page. And then uh, I do, of course, glue down my, what are these called, letters, <laughs> um, for my title, just so they don't go anywhere for years and years and years. And I uh, do add a exclamation point at the end of relax. Because um, we're going to relax excitedly, I guess. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to add some white splatters. I do add a little thing over my picture so that I don't get any on her when I'm adding these splatters. But I am just going to add some white splatters everywhere on this page and then um, I decide to add another bow towards the bottom and then I'm going to add some sequins from the little one sequin mix again after I'm done with this splatter 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 here and there and everywhere so yes I'm going to add the sequins now 
and that's going to be really quick with the magic of the movies. Now that I have all of my sequins on, it added a lot to this page. I kind of like it. I mean, I guess that's kind of my style, add a lot. <laughs> um, and so then I just move into journaling and I don't use a ruler or anything. I just freehand it and if it's crooked, oh well, that's my page. So um, I did go ahead and add that. And now I'm going to add some little pink Nouveau drops um along in with all of the sequins just to add another little pop of pink here and there and everywhere and after i'm done with that that's going to be my page uh, i don't want to do anything after i add my nouveau because it needs time to dry and so um, i'm going to leave you with some close-up shots of my page in just a second and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.